Alrighty guys, this is day two of me filming a video to get a little bit better on camera, a little bit better as a presenter. And for my topic today, I am choosing drills. So this is probably a very uh, tried and true topic for you guys. Probably something you know a lot about and uh, frankly a lot more than I do. But I wanted to talk about the three drills that I use with regularity outside of sort of specialty tools, um, what I use them for and why. And so without further ado, um, the ones I'm going to cover today are impact driver, um, a right angle drill, and the uh, hammer drill, or I would just call it a drill, I suppose. So yeah, um, first things first, a right angle drill, you can tell this one does not get used nearly as often as the other two. Um, kind of a specialty tool. It is handy to have. I would not recommend buying one unless you sort of fell into it like I did. Um, it's right angle, so <clears throat> it's great for like tight spaces, and occasionally this tool comes in super clutch. Um, it doesn't have a lot of features. It is basically a very uh, low end, but it's basically a very stripped down drill, but it has the right angle feature, um, which is occasionally useful, but like I said before, but for the most part, um, when you're drilling with it, it's hard to maintain pressure because of the nature of the drill, if you think about it, right? Like you're pushing, you need to push up here on the screw and then your wrist is getting pushed back. So it's just hard to maintain pressure. And sometimes you end up with things kind of herring off or, or stripping out a screw a little more than you'd like. So um, I really only use this when the situation specifically calls for it. Um, it is a nice product to have, but again, like not something that I keep in my toolbox regularly. Um, sort of number two is your standard drill. Let's see, this is a hammer drill from DeWalt. This is probably the first um, tool I started with and one I was probably my only tool for a long time. Um, this is an awesome product. It's great, it does everything. You can see, you can adjust the torque. It's got a hammer function on top here, which frankly I don't use that much because I do have an impact driver, but occasionally it's nice to have. Um, you can chuck up to just about anything here, right? Um, so, like the right angle drill, you're going to have the flexibility to, to check onto anything. Um, it's a little bit larger. You can see on my impact driver, you can see I've got this crazy bit holder, but just comparison wise, it's, it's not hard to tell. This one's quite a bit bigger and a little bit longer. Definitely a nice product. Um, the thing that annoys me about it is obviously driving long screws. You'd be, we'll talk about the impact driver in a second. Um, and then also the, the chuck feature is really nice when you need to chuck up to something that isn't standard. But at the same time, um, if you're going back and forth, like say you've got a, a star bit and Phillips or something like that, um, you're constantly spinning this thing, putting it back on, spinning and putting it back on. And I know you can get, a, you can get an adapter here that'll kind of make that a lot easier, but yeah, it's right here. I don't want to pull it off here, but yeah, here I'll show you. Um, so you check up one time and then you just slide this collar in. So it does work, um, but, but yeah. So originally I got this impact driver because it was going back and forth so much um, and constantly flipping the bit that I just found it annoying. And I was like, well, you know, let's get something else and I don't have an impact driver. And so I got the impact driver so I could screw with this and maybe, uh, excuse me, like uh, drive, drive holes with this and then screw with this and I wouldn't have to change out, and I kind of wanted to try a new toy, so I got it. Um, I will say, I now love the impact driver, and it's primarily what I use. It's three speed, you can see here at the bottom. Um, the first speed is doesn't have a hammer function, so if you keep it on that, it really is behaving just like a compact drill, right here at the bottom. And then when you go to two and three, that's when you get the impact motion, the ee, right? Um, you can obviously drive long, long deck screws, so despite small size, you can really drive some pretty big screws. Um, I like how compact it is. Uh, and then I really like this function here. You see this, this spring ring. And so what this does is, if I pull out anything, right, it just slaps in, right? So the difference with that, slapping in, as opposed to something like the traditional hammer drill, you know, again, imagine you're doing this 20 times, right? You've drilled a hole, but uh, you need a new one, you need something bigger, now you need a star bit, now you need a Phillips, now you need a flathead. Yeah, you see how, how much more difficult that is? And then 
taking it off. And I know you can you can spin it with the battery on, but it is a little more work. See how quick that is, and then taking it out. Um, so, yeah, that is this is my favorite. This is my go-to. Um, seems like people on the internet will have the issue of these just kind of wearing down and breaking down a little quicker. Um, I will say I've had this for a couple years now. It's been my primary driver for about eight months, and I still haven't had an issue with it. Um, so it's very, it's it's very cool, and I'll happily replace it when it comes time. Um, a couple things. So I've got some drill bit holders as well, and I'll just talk about them real quick. We can do like in depth later if you guys want. Um, I've got both of these on Amazon, and also I think I got this on Amazon too. So one, two, three. These are all just bit holders, and of course you don't need it, um, but I think it's kind of fun to try them out. So. This one's totally magnetic. I was a little leery that, that the bits would be kind of insecure in there, that they would fall off in a bag, but I've never lost a bit here. Um, this thing's really powerful, and I think it looks the best, frankly. It has a low profile, um, and you can hold long bits too, which is really cool. I have to find the link, but you can look it up on Amazon. Simon, Simon Tools. So this is a really nice one. I, I never really gave it a shot, um, and then one day I just decided to try it on and win, and it's, it's been pretty awesome. Um, this one here, this is basically like a 3D printed one. Um, I think they did a nice job. It's clever. I like it. Only thing is it does stick out. Um, it can hold six bits, which is cool. It doesn't do phenomenal with the really long ones. So like these, right? It just, it doesn't, it doesn't like them. They stick out really far, but kind of comes cumbersome. So you see with these little ones, it's great down here. Um, but with the real long ones, like I had here even, it kind of starts to get cumbersome. And then... Um, it splits through back here. And then this new one that I'm trying uh, recently, I think is really cool. It's called a driver back. Um, and it's spring loaded, so it's crazy looking. You might might get a lot of a laughs at your expense, but I don't know, it's kind of fun. Um, and so what this does is it has them, it has four bits um, kind of on spring loaded strings. So when you want to use a star bit, pull it out. Slide it in. Um, I'll slap a battery in it. Right? And then you're ready to go to Phillips. And it's all here where you need it. Um, it's kind of cool. It comes with uh, four, four bits. And then it has um, two that kind of will let you just add whatever you wanted. So you can see I've got the, the star bit and the Phillips from driver back, and then I have some, um, just some Milwaukee tool bits here, so I've got a flat head, and then like a, what is this, a PH3, so like kind of the wider Phillips on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do, um, so you can really switch those out with whatever you want. It's a little bit of work, it's probably like two or three minutes to switch these out. Um, so it's definitely not something you would switch out on the fly. Uh, but you can always throw a bit on if you don't have one of your four there. If you got a specialty bit, like maybe for driving deck screws or something, um, you can always add that on. Uh, you can always just grab it and put it in. The other thing too is, I don't actually know if this is what it's for, but it has these cool little doodads here. I'll try to show you, right? Those little um, ports. Um, and I actually use them just to hold extra bits that maybe I don't use as often, but I'd still like to have. So um, I just think that's a really cool product. It, it installs in a, a minute or two. Um, it's, it's awesome to have this stuff at hand and it's really made my driver just kind of the go-to like 95% of the time I'm just using the driver. Um, I will say they I couldn't find, at least on Amazon, them making a product for like a hammer drill. So it has to be used with a driver and, and, um, and I don't regret it, it's great. Uh, only other thing is it is just make it a little bit bigger. So occasionally when you get into tight spots, um, this housing will, will get annoying, right? You're trying to drill and now you have extra clearance. It's not crazy by any means, like unless you, that's something that you have a very specific thing that you, you know, you're a mechanic and you're always in really tight spots. Uh, that might bother you, but otherwise like I find the flexibility to be well worth it. Um, last thing I wanna show you guys real quick and I'm just gonna pop off camera is the right angle adapter. So, 
after the right angle drill, I know this is silly because this is a much more ubiquitous product, but after I got the right angle drill, I discovered the right angle adapter. Um, and this is compatible with drivers or hammer drill. And so to me, this little guy definitely takes the, definitely takes the place of a full right angle drill. So you can see right angle drill. I suppose if you were doing this a lot, you probably would want a drill that was designed specifically for the purpose. But for the occasional weekend warrior such as myself, grab this little guy, and I think this was 15 bucks, 18 bucks, I don't know, it wasn't a lot. And suddenly I have a right angle drill. Um, it works really well, it can impact drive, you can, do, um, you can do limited stuff, it's full rotation, which is cool, so you can get any kind of witch angle. Um, and frankly, it just, uh, it, it works really well. There's, there's a few things I don't love about the adapter. When you get these real small bits in here, like it, it'll work and it's strongly magnetic, which I appreciate, but that bit gets all the way, it gets so deep in there and I don't want to let go because it'll, it'll suck it in. Um, it gets so deep in there that you literally need a pair, pair of pliers to pull that out. So then you end up using the longer ones just to actually make it work. Um, it's not a big deal, but it's just one of those things that can be kind of cumbersome. Um, the other thing that I don't love about the right angle adapter is, okay, you got it on and it's very stable. It's, it's well designed. I absolutely love it, but it has the same problem as the right angle drill. You're trying to push a screw in over here at the tip. Um, but your hand and all the force you're applying is over here on the other side of the lever. So you just have an inability to really push hard or this thing can kind of oscillate. And so occasionally it does make driving a screw a little bit more of a challenge. Um, I would say it's stability wise, a right angle drill is better, but uh, honestly, I probably just wouldn't have bought it. I don't use it enough um, that I could justify a tool. I would have just used this. So yeah, um, pretty cool stuff. I think it's really fun to have kind of different tools for different situations and see which ones work well and which ones don't. You can see, um, for me anyway, the hammer drill has its place, um, but I don't carry it with me regularly. Right angle drill, probably used even a little less, but these two bad boys cover 99% of what I need to do, um, and these ride with me in the tool bag. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please, like, Drop some knowledge on me. I don't claim to be the expert in all things tools. Uh, it's always interesting to see how someone else uses it or maybe a new feature that they're aware of that I'm not. So um, yeah, please, please do. And otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.